sir on uh, interior segment examination good brief only positive findings okay sir the uh, there is a loss of lashes and there is a central corneal opacity excellent uh, and there is a um, simply front formation we can say that the uh, the lid is good and uh, there is a lid defect uh, superiorly there is a Excellent. Um, so, you have described the findings. Uh, diagnosis? Sir, uh, it can be uh, a chemical injury or uh, it can be... It is since, since birth. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, sir, this can be... Um, this uh, corneal opacity can be uh, due to trauma or Peter's anomaly also and uh, ocular secretarial pemphigoid. Okay. Uh, what is the treatment? Yes, sir. Uh, treatment is, sir, uh, we will do the lid reconstruction and uh, we can go for uh, corneal opacity. Is there a mismet or prognosis poor? Hai, like in, uh, so uh -huh. you ca can't restore the VN, it is all cosmetic. Excellent. Marvelous. So basically, if this is present since birth, it is called abortive crypt of the moss, and we will have to do a lid sharing procedure like lid switch or cutler beard procedure with formation of cornices with the help of mucosal graft, or we can simply prescribe exantation processing. Right. So, what about this one? Who will describe the findings? Anybody? So there is brotosis and direct bra lift by excising the skin and the orbicularis and the medial canthus has been lifted by medial canthoplasty. So this is a case of facial palsy. Very common and brotosis, direct lift, bra lift. We can have an endoscopic bra lift also, but this is so anybody finding Unmute yourself and describe the findings. This is a very common case. So, sir, there is a, a mass below the medial canthus. Good. Positive and, finding. Uh, you have to be very precise and concise. What is the sir, diagnosis? There is a, uh, sir, this can be uh, acute decreosis if it is painless, there is no pain. Uh -huh. I have mentioned no pain. Acute decrocytosis will be painful. Yes, sir. Then it can be a decreosystocele. Okay. Or uh... decreosystocele is present in infants. So this is mucosine. Okay. So uh, okay, sir. what is the treatment? Treatment. Sir, uh, uh, Only treatment for sir. DCR. DCR. So you will do a DCR to cure this patient. What about this one? Any comments? So this is a swelling at the lateral canthus, above the lateral canthus, below the lateral part of the eyebrow. And when you lift the lid, there is lacrimal gland swelling. So how will you proceed? Either, first of all, so this is decroadenitis or maybe dermoid cyst or lacrimal gland tumor. So first you will give us short steroid scores and if it does not improve, then we will have a biopsy and we will have to excise the tumor. Okay, so any comments? What are the findings? Sir, there is a conjunctival congestion. Okay. And there is a milky appearing uh, bleb okay. superiorly at 12 o'clock. Why this? And there is a. What is the cause? Sir, it, it, it is a, a blebitis. 
it can Good. be debitus or thermitus. Excellent. So how will you treat? Sir, fortified antibiotics. Excellent. So what is the finding in the A? Sir, in the A, mm -hmm. sir, there is a bulging of the left eye. Excellent. Uh, along Large with the, the inferior. Pul 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 fissure. Pul 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 fissure is widened. Okay, good. Yes, okay. sir. B. And there is, uh, sir, there is a protrusion of the uh, corneal apex be beyond the uh, superior so orbital margin. Called proptosis. Yes, sir. Okay, C. Uh, sir, there is a mass behind the globe. On the bulbar mass. Excellent. And D, sir, there is a mass uh, on the superior nasal aspect of the globe. That and is a com, uh, so causing which view is this? D, which view of the CT scan is this? Axial, axial view and coronal view. Sir, the C is axial, axial, axial and the good. So C is axial coronal view. and D is coronal view. Okay. So what would you do with such a patient? Axial, sir. Uh, we, yes, sir. We will, we will go uh, rush. We will rush through the slides, and if there is time, then we can come back and discuss each in greater detail. So, what are the findings? So, this right eye devi right eye medial deviation Good. with the decrease in the papillary fissure height. Excellent. And there is uh, inferior in and on the and the next picture there is inferior oblique overaction of the left eye, Good. and uh, in the. And there is uh, over inferior oblique overaction in the right eye also, bilateral inferior oblique overaction. Okay, so uh, this fitting a simple case of bilateral inferior oblique overaction, then how will you fit in the narrowing of palpebral fissure? The so Duane's retraction syndrome. Okay, so it is difficult to comment about the retraction in these photographs, but uh, what else would you are, are you supposed to have in Duane retraction? In addition to ESO and narrowing of palpebral fissure, anything else that you also expect? Abduction or adduction deficit. Good, excellent. So there should be a limitation of adduction or abduction or both. So just keep these things in mind when you are making a plan for the squint surgery. It is not all the cases are not straightforward cases, but you have to have all these things in your mind when you are making a, a treatment plan. Okay, so what is this? There is corneal opacity. Good. Uh, conjunctivization of the cornea involving half of the cornea with new vascularization. Okay, fine. So uh, what term do you use for such cases? The dry eye vitamin A deficiency. So, no, what time do you use simpler frost? Simpler frost. Two are sticking together. What is that condition called? Simple frost. Simple frost is sticking of the lid to the cornea. But if the two lids are sticking together to each other, what is that condition known as? And Okay, and simple frost. Good. So you have to keep all these things in mind. So what what can be the cause? It can be due to Stevens Johnson syndrome, due Excellent. to chemical burn, or due to osteosecretorial pancreatitis. Excellent. Good. And one more thing: if you add chemical injuries to it, then the list is complete. So how will you treat this case? We can prescribe the patient uh, topical lubricants and we'll do a uh, conjunctival resection. Uh, I will also advise the patient rotting. Okay, so I can do amniotic membrane graft as well. Excellent, excellent. So, why grafting? Uh, for restoration of corneal integrity. Excellent. So, unless you graft. So to maintain furnaces. Okay, uh, well done. But the, if you only separate, it will adhere again. So there will be attachment, recurrence.